Hello everyone. It's January 3. Happy New Year. Yan. So boom, we, boom. <laughs> we hope nagkaroon po kayo ng magandang pagsalubong sa bagong taon. And it's a kumpleto pa mga kamay ni Adele. Kumpleto pa rin mga kamay. So yeah. <laughs> so welcome to our Monday devotion. 2022 na po tayo. Ang bilis ng panahon. So, nagsisimula po tayo sa ating bagong taon. So, tuklasin po natin ang kalooban ng Panginoong Diyos or the will of God. So, yan po ang ating talakayan sa ating mga darating na devotion. And bago yan, let us pray. Tayo po'y manalangin. Father, we thank you for this new year na binigay mo sa amin. Lord, we are so thankful sa mga nakaraang taon. Sinamahan mo kami. And we believe this new year ay patuloy mo kaming sasamahan ano man po ang dumating sa amin. Ang tiwala namin ay sa iyo, Panginoon Diyos. Lord, again, we thank you. We are forever grateful sa mga bagay na ginawa mo at gagawin pa, Panginoon. Lalo na sa New Year na ito, Panginoon. We thank you. We bless you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Amen yes. and amen. All right. So we're starting a new devotion for the year 2022. And I thought it would be good to um, get a devotion on the will of God uh, because it's important, especially as we begin to the, the new year, mm -hmm. we begin seeking the will of God. Although it should be all year round, but it's a good reminder that in the beginning of the new year that we seek, seek the will, the of, will God. of God. Yes. So the title of our devotion for, I think, the next six or seven Mondays is The Will of God by Charles F. Stanley. Stanley. Yeah. So let's begin. Step in the will of God. We hear repeatedly that the Lord has a plan for us, and it's good. We're instructed to seek it, embrace it, and live it. We're even told it's the key to our future. But what is it? Even though God's will sounds like something we need to know, the whole idea of it often steers up more questions than answers. Whatever you, your view of the will of God, it can seem grand and unreachable, can't it? After many years in ministry, I've heard enough people talk about how frustrated they are in their Christian lives that I'm fully persuaded there's one ultimate reason. Mm -hmm. They don't understand the nature of the will of God, nor do they know how to find it. And if you don't understand these two things, you may feel insecure and directionless in your walk with God. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's what steered your interest in reading this plan. Perhaps you want to honor your Savior and stay on track with what He envisions for your life. But that's not usually what drives people to seek God's will. More often than not, it's questions about the future, decisions that must be made, and or challenges that arise with no foreseeable solution that drives us to our knees before God. As we move forward in seeking to understand the nature of God's will and how to find it, we must remember one important truth. Mm -hmm. God is our planner. He's not, God is a planner. He's not a reactor. He didn't set this world in motion to be ruled by chance or wild, unchecked forces. He didn't create you to live without hope and purpose. From before the beginning of time, God has been making plans for you and for me. He created this world with a variety of landscapes, colors, animals, mm -hmm. plants, foods, smells, textures, and He thought of everything to satisfy our needs, steer our imaginations, fascinate our minds, and give your joy to our souls. God's also attentive to the great and impactful circumstances of your life, and He's observant of details so small they escape your notice. Mm -hmm. He cares about the decisions, directions, problems, burdens, and conflicts that concern you. Though the journey of seeking and living out God's will may not be easy at times, it's always worthwhile. Mm -hmm. When we listen to the Father and follow His will for our lives, we get His very best. It's that simple. And we'll experience the greatest joy of fulfillment imaginable because we'll be living out the very reasons for which we were 
created. Mm -hmm. So are you ready to learn about God's will and pursue His ultimate plan for your life? Let's get started. So basically, we'll be getting started in the next devotion. Mm -hmm. But the, the, the scripture for today is Jeremiah 29, verse 11. For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. They are plans for good and not for disaster, to give you a future and a hope. And Proverbs, Proverbs 19, 21 says, You can make many plans, but the Lord's purpose will prevail. Mm -hmm. I want to make a few points from the author's writings. First of all, whatever your view, he said, whatever your view of the, of the will of God, it can seem grand and unreachable, can't it? Now, sometimes, or should I say most of the time, you know, God's will seems too big. Mas parang sobrang laki. And beyond us. And unreachable. But my experience, and the experience of many, is that God doesn't reveal His whole will to you at once. Yes. Hindi yung, when you're born, magdakit na ting ng, uh, let's say, eight years old, uh -huh. Jesse, you're going to be a pastor one day. Hindi ganun eh. Kasi if that's the way He would do it, mangyayari sa atin, talagang we'll back out eh. Kasi mm -hmm. it will be too big for yes. us. Yes. So He reveals it to us little by little, step by steps. Ang ginagawa ni Lord sa experience ko, Throughout life, even yung hindi pa tayo Cristiano, mm -hmm. he started, he already planting seeds of, of who we are, what we'll be, be become yes. in the future. future yeah. And so, ako, when I look back at my life, I see that. Si Pastor Jimmy ganun din. When he looks back at his life, he sees that. Mm -hmm. That my purpose pala, kahit ikaw, Pastor, yeah. na, naalala ko yung when kwento mo. In high school. In high school, di ba? Yeah. You yeah. started playing the guitar in front of people. Yeah, leading my classmate uh -oh, to a, a Christian song. Yeah, God started planting mm -hmm. that seed already, diba? Mm -hmm. To show you that one day you would be Later, a worship yeah. pastor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So He led me little by little, and He leads everybody little by little, planting seeds of who we will, we will become mm -hmm. in the future. And until those seeds grow, and when those seeds grow, you know, we begin to discover God's plans. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, you know, what we see is God uses all kinds of situations. He uses circumstances. Yes. He uses people. He uses problems. Mm -hmm. He uses anything that He can use and everything to direct us, to guide us, to get us to think. And, 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 and mm -hmm. dami. So He can reveal His perfect will to us. Yes. So although it seems, you know, talagang sobrang laki and it's unreachable, mm -hmm. it's really not. Because God takes us step at a time yes, until we tama. finally reach His perfect will for mm. our lives. Tama, Pastor Arnaud? Yeah. So, yung shiner ko kanina that when I was in high school, mm. uh, there was a time na nilad ko yung mga kaklasiko sa a simple uh, Christian song and then I prayed for them. Mm -hmm. Later on, na mag magiging part pala ako ng choir and then eventually become a worship leader. Now, which is be which has become my passion talaga. Which is, I believe, part ng will ni Lord sa buhay ko. And so, nung, nung elementary ko, wala akong idea na yun ang will ni Lord ng hanggang ngayon. So, yung will ni Lord talaga is napakalaki. Mm -hmm. Buong buhay natin yan, matutuklasan. The will of God is already planned out. Mm -hmm. Pero sa atin, i-discover natin yan. Yes, amen. Every day, every moment ng buhay natin, every part or season ng buhay natin, God will do something to prepare us dun sa mga bagay na papagawa niya sa atin. Mm -hmm. And eventually, makikita mo, ay, ito pala yung kalooban ni Lord sa buhay ko. So, again, yung will ni Lord talaga is napakalaki, pero ipapakita niya sa atin yan, or we can uh, uh, go through it one step at a time, or mm -hmm. ano, paunti-unti. So, don't be discouraged na yung kalooban ni Lord hindi mo kaagad matutuklasan Amen. ng one day. Tama, Jess? Amen. Mm -hmm. Ako nga, uh, six years in college, ang dami mm -hmm. kong course na kinuha. <laughs> Buti na lang, hindi ako naging uh, electrical engineer. Ang hindi, ano, sabog lahat ng mga building. <laughs> di ba? So, yeah, yeah. Uh, hindi, hindi ganun eh. Ako, I remember, Arnel, yung elementary pa ako, uh, elementary pa ako. Mm -hmm. And uh, kami as a family, growing up Catholic kami, every Sunday, Pupunta kami sa Mass. Mm. Pero there was this one priest 
ang suit niya, hindi yung, yung normal na suit ng pare. And uh, for some reason, parang naging na-idolize ko siya. Mm -hmm. The way he talks, tapos after the service, nalapit siya sa mga tao, kakamay niya mga tao. Uh -huh. Nastuck sa puso ko yun eh, yes. sa isip ko yun mm -hmm. eh. Not knowing that, yun pala, God was already showing me, uh -huh. eh. even at the young age, elementary pa lang ako, that one day, that's what I will be doing. Mm, preparing uh -oh. us for something. And also about the will of God, uh, you know, God will allow us to experience or to go katulad ng challenges mm -hmm. and Tama. problems kung minsan, Amen. to prepare us. Minsan di natin maintindihan why are these things happening. Yung pala, inihahanda na, niya tayo yung character natin, mm -hmm. yung, yung ugali natin, so that kapag dumating na yung kalooban ng Panginoong Diyos, ay nakahanda na tayo. So Even don't yung, be discouraged sa mga Amen. bagay na nangyari sa iyo as you seek the will of God. Even yung mga, yung mga maling uh, decisions natin, mm -hmm. Pati yung ginagamit ni Lord eh. Yes. Para ipakita niya sa atin, hindi yun ang will ko sa'yo. Mm -hmm. All of the sudden, you hit, parang you hit a, a brick wall. Now, I'm not going anywhere. Walang nangyayari sa buhay. Now, mm -hmm. realize mo, na mali yung direction mo. Yes. So, you have to change directions. So, mm -hmm. even yung mga bagay ng ganun, God allows us to go even the wrong way to show us that we are going the wrong way. Diba? Yes. So, yeah. So, walking in the will of God, it takes uh, faith and trust in God. Mm -hmm. Hindi pwede yung malalaman mo na kaagad lahat eh. No. Kahit kami, how many years na kami sa ministry, until now, we walk by faith every day. Trusting God na ito yung pinapagawa niya Amen. sa atin. So again, don't be discouraged talking about the will of God. And uh, sasabihin mo, Pastor, anong will ni Lord sa buhay ko? You will discover that every day as you walk with Jesus, Amen. as you trust Him, Amen. as you read the Word of God. Amen. Of course, there will be ups and downs, but don't be discouraged. Just move on. God is doing something sa buhay mo. I, I would like to share din na uh, yung will of God is parang nagbubuo tayo ng puzzles. Yung mga, mm. yung, yung jigsaw puzzle, minsan titignan mo yung tura, saan to? Anong, mm. anong, anong picture ito? Pero you know na ito ay bahagi ng will ni Lord. So, nilalagay mo yan hanggang sa mabuo yung picture Amen. ng buong jigsaw puzzle. Mm -hmm. So, yun ang kalooban ni Lord sa ating buhay. Amen. And we just need to surrender sa kanyang kalooban. At uh, sabi niya, I know the plans I have for you. Mm -hmm. Pag sinabi ni Lord, I know, alam niya yung in and outs, alam niya yung kabuuan niyan. So, ang, ang trabaho natin is magtiwala lang sa kanya every day. Amen. Yeah. Amen. So basically, yun ang devotion natin mm -hmm. for today. And uh, in upcoming devotions, we mm -hmm. will discover more on how to discover the will of God for our lives. And yes. I hope that this will encourage us and help us and help us understand that it's not beyond reach, but it is within reach. Amen. Yes. Mm -hmm. Pastor Arnel, we can so Proverbs 19.21, just ko lang ulit, basahin natin, you can make many plans. And usong-uso yung, di ba, New Year's resolution or plan, maganda po yan. And I believe uh, planning is good. Pero wag natin kalilimutan, but the Lord's purpose will prevail. Meaning, yung, yung kalooban niya talaga, yun ang isik natin. Yes, sabi natin, Lord, ito yung nakikita kong pwede kong gawin. Ito yung nakikita kong pwede kong abutin. But your will be done sa buhay ko. So, how do we do that? We read His word, follow His word sa, sa ating buhay. Amen? So, let us pray as we go with this new year na harap natin. Father, we thank you for another year na binigay mo sa amin. A new beginning, a fresh start, Lord God. And Lord, we want to start with you. Because you are the creator of everything, including New Year, Lord God. Nagsisimula pa lamang kami, Panginoon, sa iyo, nakaplano na ang buong 2022. And so we trust in you, Lord God. Pinagkakatiwala namin sa iyo ang aming buhay, ang aming pamilya ang aming gawain, ang aming trabaho, everything about us. Sapagkat sinabi sa iyong salita, Panginoon, you know exactly your plans para po sa buhay namin. Lord Jesus, tulungan mo kami to look to you, to trust in you, Lord God, every step of the way. And Lord, inaamin namin na hindi po namin alam ang lahat, but our eyes are upon you. Lord, we thank you. We give you glory and praise. In Jesus' name, Amen, amen and, and Amen. amen. God, God bless CRC. CRC.
God bless the Philippines and God bless Olonggapo. God bless you and Happy New Year, Happy New Year, everyone. Yes. Happy New Year.